One of America's busiest travel days of the year is also earning a reputation for another reason. Yeah, the night before Thanksgiving has become an increasingly popular night to get together with friends and family for a cold one. Ted News reporter Shane Dwyer is live in downtown Roanoke tonight, where the owners of local establishments confirm that the night before Thanksgiving is good for business. Shane. Lindsay and John, a busy night down here in downtown Roanoke on the market. The night has earned many different nicknames from people. The most popular seeming to be Drinksgiving. For the business owners that I spoke with this evening, they're very aware of the fact, and because of that, they have specifically trained their staff to make sure they know when people are not going to be overserved because they want everyone to stay safe. For them tonight, it's a big holiday. It's about making money, but most importantly, it's about keeping everyone safe. If Thanksgiving is all about the food, for some, the night before Thanksgiving is all about the drink. Historically, it's one of our busiest nights of the year. Jason Martin of Martin's in downtown Roanoke is ready for Thanksgiving Eve, or the night of midweek partying known to many as Drinksgiving. We're treating this like a weekend. It's going to feel like a weekend. Um, and we're, we wore a bunch of beer. We're staffed up. It's, it's something we look forward to. Southwest Virginia bars are cashing in on the nationwide trend. Whether it's college kids home on break or professionals visiting mom and dad, many end up with a drink in hand. Anecdotally, we knew this was a phenomenon. Um, I think personally it's grown as part of millennial culture. They come exclusively for the drinks. Restaurant management company Upserve analyzed two years worth of sales from 10,000 bars and the spike is clear. And total orders are up more than 30% as compared to the Wednesday prior. It's not something like St. Patrick's Day or New Year's Eve where, you know, there's lots of drinking and partying. Um, but, you know, maybe at home or maybe at a venue, this is specifically related to meeting up in bars um, while people are visiting their families. Martin says they're prepared to be up to four times busier than a normal Wednesday. And unlike other holidays, crowds are on their best behavior. I've got no complaints from any of my staff that they all want to work. It's busy. There's tons of money to be made. And uh, yeah, yeah, everybody's in a generally a great, a great positive attitude. It's, it's a festive time of year. This kind of kicks it off. <laughs> Business owners, police, uh, business owners, police, as well as everyone else's community, pretty much in unanimous agreement this evening that the most important thing to do is make sure that you get home safe. There's a number of taxi cabs, Lyft, Uber are driving all throughout the town tonight. So be sure, again, urging people to get a safe ride home, whether it be you order a ride, whether it be you call a friend, whatever you do, make sure you do not drink and drive. That is the message they are preaching this evening. And with tomorrow being a holiday, your car is safe and ticket free down here on the streets of downtown Roanoke tomorrow. Live in downtown Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.